Wow. Okay. What a night at the Oscars, huh? Maybe you've heard about it. There were stars and fashion, there were awards and speeches, and oh yeah, there was the slap heard round the world. Oh yeah, I think that one made a headline or two, I would say, but by far one of the biggest headlines was Coda, a movie featuring a predominantly deaf cast, taking home Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Adapted Screenplay. So I went ahead and spoke with members of the deaf community here in our area just to get a better understanding of what this win means. And oh, the yeah. Oscar goes to... Okay, Coda. <laughs> It was a big night for CODA, the film starring a predominantly deaf cast, taking home three Academy Awards. But the win goes beyond a shiny gold Oscar. It's a win for members of the deaf or hard of hearing community. Being a CODA, has, it's my true identity and who I am as a person. CODA means child of a deaf adult. Debbie Hartman Jimo's parents are both deaf. While her dad passed away years ago, last night was one she knew would mean so much to him. And he always thought that if he could hear, he could do so much more. So watching that and seeing someone win like that, oh, it is uh, game changing. Recognition that many, like Timothy Skaggs, director of the Community Center for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, hope will open more doors for the deaf community. Yes, for the deaf community, it means a, a lot. Um, many children, many adults have never seen a deaf person be that successful. And, and it's the same for the hearing community to be recognizing deaf talent, deaf folks can act, deaf folks can be doctors, deaf folks can be lawyers. Really deaf people can do pretty much anything. So to have a spotlight shine on that and for the hearing world to see that and maybe want to learn ASL too, very exciting. And congratulations to Troy. In addition to successes, Mark Bird at Greenleaf also noted how the movie shows the adversity and challenges the deaf community faces and the impact it has on viewers, both deaf and hearing. I have to say, it was really impressed with that. That is the first time I ever cried at an Oscar ceremony. Oh my gosh. Yeah, really emotional night there for so many members of the deaf community yeah. and for women like Debbie who has so many family members who are deaf and has seen, you know, the adversities and the wins firsthand. So really excited to be able to speak with everybody there today about what it meant so much more than, you know, just the little statuette of the Oscar. Absolutely. And the, the rebound that they'll have from this mm -hmm. is that they already had a big platform right. when the movie was nominated. So there were already people that hadn't seen it but thought, wow, it's nominated. I, I need to see it. But this now goes to the next level because it's the Oscar award winning film. It really was the film of the mm -hmm. year in so many ways as now the, uh, the Oscars and the Academy have, have recognized it. That means even more people now will see right. a movie that otherwise they probably wouldn't have seen. So it helps to further advance their cause. Very important for that community. Yeah, everyone hoping, like you said, it opens more doors for the deaf community and also opens more eyes for those in the hearing community who exactly, like you said, maybe wouldn't have watched it. But Absolutely. everyone really should. It's important. Congratulations to everyone involved. Quite yeah. a film. Absolutely.